Hi, my name is Lila and I'm doing a speech about farts. If you think about it, farts are a big part of our everyday life. For example, they provide humour in movies and they happen in everybody's home and once in a while you would have to walk through something nasty out in public. So, this got me thinking and I have decided to get to the bottom of what causes a fart. Before all the science stuff, we have to think of all the names for a fart. Hmm. For example, the scientific name for a fart is a flatulence. A humorous name for a fart for farts is one, the crack splitter. Tertutis, great brown cloud, and the breaking wind. Du, du, du. The French word for a fart is jupette. Now for some farty facts. The top five worst breaking wind animals are animals and insects are would you believe it? Number one is termites. At number two is camels. At number three, zebras. At number four, sheep. And would you believe it? Number five, cows. I thought they would be at number one. Because they have two stomachs and they would do two tutis more often than other animals. And now for the science. What is a fart exactly? And some of you may think that a fart is a wish that your butt makes. But you are wrong. Your turd tooties is caused by trapped air, which can come from many sources. You might, you might remember the saying, silence but violence. Or loud and proud. Do you know why it is called silence but violence? It is because there is too much sulfur in everybody's diet. If you eat things like baked beans, cheese, cabbage and eggs, your great bottom gas will peel the paint straight off the living room walls. <laughs> Did you know that healthy people make tattoos around 14 times a day? Whoa. Did you know that you, can, you can't smell a fart between 10 to 15 seconds because it takes that long to reach your nose? In some cultures, farts aren't a big of a deal. There is a tribe, tribe where some people in South America where they use the fart as a greeting. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> farts are flammable. <laughs> Isn't that so funny? If you hold in your tattoos the whole day, then you go to bed. It's most likely to come out when you are sleeping. For my final fact, did you know when you are dead, you still fart and burp for three hours, then it stops? I hope you have learned a lot about farts. Thank you for listening.